Okay, here we are. A couple days after bringing the crash Jeep to the junkyard. Those of you who watched that video will know that we were having battery issues on the way home. So, what we're going to work on today is swapping this alternator. Got one on Amazon. It's about $80. Looks nice. So, let's go ahead and get this thing swapped out. I think I want to turn the truck around though so that we can charge these batteries too. So, check it out. About 38 right now. Let's see if it starts. The weak batteries. Connections went loose. Stand by. Okay, here we are, got it in place. We got the battery charger running on one of the batteries. We'll put it on the other one in a little bit. Um, so yeah, let's start taking this alternator off here. I like how easy it is to get at, like front and center there, right up top. Just gotta take off the belt. And we got three bolts on the top, and then we take off the wiring. So, let's get to this. All right. It's always got to be a nasty day out when we're doing this stuff. It's April 19th and it's snowing. Beginning of March, it was 70 degrees out and we we're tilling, but no, now it's snowing because we got to work on the vehicle. All right, so we're going to take a breaker bar here and we need to get down in there and get on the tensioner somewhere right around there and get this thing broken free so stand by while I get that in there okay I need to get a stool to stand on because this truck is so high in the air so I found it it's not right on that part it's up a little higher There, gonna get into it. Coolant reservoir is a little bit in the way. All right, so. to release the tension on the belt here, or belt, a little bit more. There it 
this. That's got a lot of tension. Watch your finger there. Yeah. 13 millimeter. Okay, well, since we got the breaker bar out here, we can try that. back here I think this is 10 millimeter see if that's gonna fit oh, of course it's too long where how can these things never come off easy there it goes don't want to break it that I had more work. Okay. Now, get it so we can see it. Oh, and I, now I don't need a stubby 10 millimeter. A little bit crusty looking there. Okay. Grab this. There it is, 10. Yeah, that's on there good. Can try the impact maybe. Get in there. There we go. Okay. Okay. There's the old one. Manufactured in Mexico. There's a new one, nice and shiny. Looks like it fits. All right, let's go ahead and connect everything.
Yeah, I heard the click. Then we get the bolts aligned here. Make sure they're all the same length. They all look the same. Get these started by finger. Wonder if I need to look up a torque spec on this. Maybe. I'll do that in a minute here. Let me get them finger tight and then we'll look up the torque spec and get them tightened down. But yeah, I mean, the hardest part is pretty much done already. We've got it swapped. We're screwing down the bolts here. And once we torque them down, then the last thing left is get our breaker bar back on the belt tensioner, loosen it up, put the belt on, and try not to squish our finger. And then once the batteries are done recharging, then the job's done. Okay, stand by. Alright, we're back. It took like 10 minutes to find the torque spec for the alternator bolts. I found a few that said 35 foot pounds. So that's what we're going to go with here. Seems pretty loose to me. Okay, well, that's what it says. Okay, now, let's get back up on the stool. Figure out where I put the breaker bar. There it is. Okay, get this way down here. In there. Push it way up. Don't fall off the stool. Way up. Because I know it was like way up here. It seems to be as far as it wants to go. Make sure the belt's still around everything else. Don't want it to fall off anything else, so I'm just going slow. There we go. Looks good everywhere. Now, releasing that tension without squashing my finger this time. There we go. Hold it off. Looking good. Yeah. Okay. Start it up.
all done. It wasn't too bad of a job. It was actually really easy. I'm sure a lot of vehicles are a lot more difficult than that. So, you gotta get a big truck, then it's easier to work on. Because you don't have everything cramped in place like a tiny VW Beetle where you have to squish your hand and then cut it to pieces. Oh, they've changed all the data on that other thing. Yes, this is really good. Nice and shiny. Good to go. There it is. Let's just check our voltage again.